everyone. Today's is going to be, you know, kind of the final video about me working with King Pyman because I kind of parted ways with working with him because I feel like uh, what I wanted to utilize his abilities for, that purpose has been served. So I'm no longer, you know, really as close to closely working with him. I kind of went back to being a lot closer to Anubis. Um, this is going to be about working with and receiving, you know, the familiars from King Pyman. And in all of the books that I've read, every, you know, everything that I've researched uh, that consisted of King Pyman and his history uh, would say he giveth good familiars. Now, for those, you know, for those people who really aren't like involved in the occult, they don't really know about that kind of stuff, you know, knowing about familiars or servitors or anything like that. But this one in particular, you know, was a, um, a crow. That's what I picked because I like birds. And I decided, you know, I wanted to use the crow. I wanted to see what its strengths were, what it could benefit um, with me. And so I chose the crow. Now, when he gave me the option to choose, I was able to choose from a lot of different uh, beings from his legion. He has a lot of different followers. So he had um, he had some guys that were in cloaks that kind of looked like orcs. He had... Um, a lot of different animals, tigers, he had wolves, he had an entire kind of, uh, kind of a, an entire world dedicated to where his legions of spirits were. And that's where you can pick your familiars. He has these thousands of rooms that you can kind of walk up to. He opens the doors and then there'll be a different creature that steps out that can be assigned to you and, um, can do your bidding basically. <clears throat> I denied, you know, I, I kind of, uh, I turned down a lot of the other offers of, there was other kinds of things that were there, like I said, and I got the crow. And the reason why I got the crow is because I'm a visual, I'm a visionary. I like to use my clair clairvoyant abilities. I like to journey and uh, go into different timelines. So I felt like the crow, you know, it, it had strengths that I was looking for at the time. So once I received the, the crow from him, um, it flew onto my shoulder and it had his voice. So it would talk to me in, in his voice, which was pretty interesting. Um, I did a, you know, I was doing a, a meditation one time and a really big spell to uh, kind of uh, manipulate a certain situation to um, get on the, on the, on like a better foot of a certain situation with a certain person. And, what it what happened was when I did went into this meditation, um, the crow that I had received it flew forward. Once it flew forward, I was kind of pulled out of my body, and my energy went into the crow. Um, I was able to see from the sight of the crow. It flew around. It came into like uh, the place that I would be residing. Um, it flew up to the person. I knew exactly what that person was going to look like before I met him. Um, I knew how it would be because. I was told everything was going to be okay, but I was told everything that would be said, which when it came down to, you know, uh, things to start happening, it's exactly how I saw it from the eyes of the crow. So I was able to actually scry and go into um, a different timeline in my future to kind of, um, you know, manifest the results that I wanted, which definitely helped. And the manipulation, trust me, that manipulation was absolutely superb in my opinion. It was really good. Um, that's about the only thing that I really utilized it for until I, you know, really had stopped. Um, I had stopped like doing meditations and started to uh, kind of lean, lean toward not working with him as much or not working really with any experience as much at that time. So... Really, it got to the point where, you know, um, I'd use it for meditation. And in my meditations, the last one, I was able to see from the eyes of it. Um, I was flying over fields of grass, flying over water, flying over different like uh, types of terrain, which was pretty cool. Just to look down and see the perspective. What? Like I was soaring, you know, when you leave your body or you're astral projecting. Some people just want to go and just fly and they'll just fly through space or fly in the sky. That's exactly, you know, what I was doing, but as a bird. So it was more of a shamanistic experience, but that's exactly what's happening when you're working with the familiar. You can use the abilities um, of that specific familiar to 
um, have these kind of experiences to get those kind of results in your spell work and in, um, you know, kind of like in your daily life as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and turn on that post notifications button if you want to receive, you know, um, notifications that I'm live or that I'm um, posting a new video that I have new content. You'll get an email about it and you'll be the first to see the new content that's going to be dropped. Thank you guys for supporting me and I'll see you guys in the next videos.